Hi, my name is Mark Fisher. I'm the President and CEO of Solid Terrain Modeling. We're here at our headquarters in Fillmore, California today to talk to you about how our models are actually made. We started Solid Terrain Modeling a little over a decade ago to manufacture physical terrain models from digital data. It's kind of like Google Earth, but for real, something you can put on a desktop. Since opening our doors in the year 2000, the team here at Solid Terrain Modeling has built over 3,500 of these unique Solid Terrain models for our demanding customers around the world. Our client, the Vasquez Rocks Natural Area and Interpretive Center, wanted us to model the area to show the amazing topography. Usually this type of project, we utilize data from a variety of different commercial data vendors. Once the data has been reviewed and analyzed and we've decided on the size of the model and all of the features that will be incorporated into the finished piece, the project is released to the manufacturing. The shop begins that process by rough cutting a block of polyurethane foam, that's the base material for the models, to a generic size, approximately the size of the piece that will be finished. That raw block is then placed onto one of our specialized cutting machines that read those elevation data files and automatically cut the terrain into the block of foam. So the cutting time for a model can vary anywhere from 10 hours to 100 hours for a full sheet of material that's four feet by eight feet. And it depends on the ruggedness of the terrain. So for instance, the soft rolling prairies, those data sets are very smooth. They cut very quickly. However, something like the Vasquez Rocks that has jagged, craggy features in it will take much longer, closer to 100 hours. Once the model is cut, it is cleaned off and inspected for any defects. Occasionally there's a little pockmark or a hole in there from a defect in the foam base material. Those are repaired and then several coatings are applied. The first is a primer to seal the surface and the second is a specialty coating that will receive the ink and it makes the surface like a piece of paper when it's done. Once the coatings are applied, we place that model into our custom 3D inkjet printer that very, very carefully and accurately flies the print heads right over the surface of the terrain and deposits the colored image right down onto the bumpy surface. That process can take uh, a, about eight hours for a single four by eight block. Once that's completed, a clear coating is applied to the surface of the model. We have two different coatings that we use. One is a lacquer clear coat. It's a matte finish that allows for general touching. And the other is what we call our touch coat, and it's a heavy duty polyurethane coating that is designed for museums or visitor centers where guests will be touching the model frequently. It also allows you to use the surface as a kind of a whiteboard where you can draw on it and then wipe it back off using special markers. Once the clear coat is applied, the edges are painted to suit the color of the model or to fit the installation of the model. A frame is applied. It goes through a quality control process and is then packaged and shipped to our clients.